Dr. Kevin Roberts is president of the Heritage Foundation and joins us now. Dr. Roberts, good morning to you. We love having you on because you're so smart and you also can break things down in layman's terms. So tell us what this rate hike means for people at home. Well, great to see you, Carly. Always good to be on. Look, let me translate that D.C. monetary policy talk for the average American, of whom I am one, and say it's this. The government has been spending money it doesn't have, and the second thing it's been doing is issuing bonds or securities, and it does a third thing that we can't do in our households, which is actually create money. You know, my wife and I say to our kids, money doesn't grow on trees. Well, the Fed has been making money grow on trees, $4.6 trillion. I've been saying, you've been been saying for a couple of years that that will come home to roost. That's what we're living through. And this is the bottom line, Carly. The Federal Reserve has to act a lot more swiftly than it did yesterday mm -hmm. and then faster than what the, the chairman is saying. Otherwise, we're going to be living with inflation for many years, if not the better part of a decade. And I was also reading that, you know, this will, of course, increase the borrowing costs. So uh, on everything from mortgage rates to uh, credit card interest rates. Um, so I'm, I'm sure that when people hear that, they go, wait a second. I thought if the Fed stepped in, things would be getting better. It, are things going to be getting harder for me now? Well, they are. And look, you know that I'm an optimist and I would love to tell you that th from this messenger that it's going to get better. It's going to get worse before it gets better. This is America. We will get through this. So I, I don't want to be too much of a pessimist. But the bottom line is that when we go to the grocery store, we know that there are certain things we can't buy. When, when we go fill up our gas tanks, we know that sometimes we're not filling it up. That's going to get worse because the thing that has happened as a result of this reckless borrowing and spending and the, the slow walking of of this policy by the Federal Reserve is this. Our savings as a people have gone down dramatically. They were at historically high record uh, rates a couple of years mm -hmm. ago, and the, the, our savings rates have declined 85 percent. We can't continue this uh, just from the standpoint of American households, and we need real courage by our policymakers, which we didn't see yesterday. Right. And, you know, the big issue is that um, this Fed hike, this interest rate hike, uh, it's necessary. Um, you're saying that it should have happened sooner and I think a large majority of people in the financial world agree with you. Um, so now that it has happened, inflation is at 8.5 percent now. When can we start to see a decrease? Well, this is where it's going to sound like I'm more pessimistic than I usually am. The, but by the Federal Reserve's own calculations, it's going to take four years for this slow walk policy to actually have effect. We're going to be in an inflationary environment until the government stops spending money it doesn't have and until the Federal Reserve takes more drastic action. The only way to get ahead of inflation, if we use history as a guide, is to look back to the early 1980s when the Federal Reserve took drastic, swift action to increase rates dramatically. That was very hard for a year. But what I'm saying, Carly, to, to sort of deliver the headline here is that that's much better than what we're probably going to live through for at least five years, which is a very inflation. We can't afford our cars. And unfortunately, millions of American families are going to have to make tough decisions at grocery stores. Yeah, I know. It's happening every single day. And unfortunately, you say it's going to be happening for another four more years. My goodness. Dr. Roberts, thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me.